welcome back to my channel like you guys can see in the title of this video we're going to be talking about my favorite topic ever hair i am going to be sharing things that i'm using right now in regards to my hair and absolutely loving so my current hair favorites i would say and just some tips regarding hair that maybe you guys haven't heard of before so yeah i'm really excited and let's jump into the video um but before i start i just want to say thank you guys so much for all of you that are messaging me this past month honestly i wasn't feeling well from wisdom tooth extraction to a bunch of other things this was just not a great month for me and that's why i haven't filmed in so long as well but yeah i really appreciate all the messages that i've received i love you guys so much and i'm feeling alhamdulillah much much better now and i'm excited to be back in filming and before i start don't forget to subscribe and follow me on instagram next video is the highly requested my favorite liquid lipsticks video so definitely be subscribed because in that video every single liquid lipstick i'm going to be showing i'm going to be giving it away so literally one lucky winner is going to be winning everything in that video i don't know who the hell i think i am today i'm literally wearing a glossy lip i never 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 do that but today for some reason i wanted to i don't know i don't know how i feel about it um i like it but i don't know let me know what you guys think. Enough rambling because I honestly get accused of talking too much in my videos. A lot of DMs and in general questions about my hair and what I use and what I'm loving currently. So I thought this video would literally be perfect for all of you guys that have requested it. So the first thing I want to talk about is something I've been using for years. Sometimes I would stop and then I would notice it changed my hair and I would start it right back up. And that is biotin vitamins. Now these vitamins come in the form of gummies and capsules. I personally don't like taking any sort of tablets. So I use the gummies. Um, biotin is something that's good for your hair, nails, and skin. I personally notice a difference in my nails and my hair when I use biotin. What I really do is I take two gummies every single day. Now I'm like really bad and I'll forget to take my vitamins all the time. So I leave them on my living room table. Even sometimes on my kitchen counter, just somewhere where I know I'm going to pass by and remember to take the gummies. These are strawberry flavored and they remind me of candy. So... I really like taking them. <laughs> now I will say, sometimes when I take biotin, it doesn't just affect your um, the hair on your head. It kind of affects the hair on your body too. So do have that in mind. That's why sometimes I'll like pause. I won't take them for like a week or two and then I'll start taking them again. It's because I feel like it speeds up your body hair as well. In general, to me, if it makes the hair on my head look good, I'm totally down for it. But yeah, highly recommend these. If you haven't started taking biotin, definitely start now you might honestly see a difference in your hair i will have a link to these in the description below if you guys are interested in this specific brand I usually have a big box of these in costco like wholesale and i would always tell my dad to go get them for me so yeah i will link these down in the description below and yeah definitely recommend them so the next thing that i do for my hair is i oil my hair i know there's so many things out there about oiling your hair that it's a myth and whatnot Personally, I feel like it makes a major difference in my hair. Now, the only oil that I use on my hair and that I absolutely swear by is coconut oil. I just think coconut oil is so, so, so amazing for your hair. Like, it's the best deep conditioner you can get for your hair and it's not expensive at all. Personally, what I like to do is I'll take some coconut oil, scoop some out in a bowl and put it in the microwave and just heat it for about 30 seconds just to melt it away because sometimes it can harden depending on where you have it. Then I'll just massage it in my root. Whatever's left over, I'll bring it through my ends. And I do this once a week or at least I try to do this once a week. And the thing is with oil and especially coconut oil, I don't really think there's a point of leaving it like one or two hours to get the full effect you kind of have to leave it overnight so i'll just put a towel all over and i'll leave it overnight and i'll wash my hair the next day it's the best mask ever it's the best deep conditioning treatment everything for your hair especially me i color my hair a lot i blow dry it i you know do all these things to it the fact that it's still on my head, it's because of coconut oil, honestly. My hair gets super dry from all these things I'm doing to it, so coconut oil is literally saving my life. Back in New York, I would have my mom put coconut oil in my hair every night, and she would kind of give me this really nice massage, and that's really good for your hair. So if you have someone that can put coconut oil in your hair for you and give you a nice massage, it really, really helps the scalp and the hair, especially if you have dandruff or anything like that. I feel like coconut oil really works. Right now, I haven't coconut oil in my hair in like two weeks so i definitely need to do that this week 
The next thing I want to share with you guys is the current shampoo and conditioner that I've been loving. So this specific shampoo and conditioner, you've probably seen it all over Instagram because a bunch of influencers were promoting them. That's kind of why I got curious and I wanted to try it out for myself to see what the hype was about. It's by the brand Annie, kind of popular for their Annie oils. I decided to give their products a go and I ordered Annie Luxury Oud Shampoo and Conditioner. And I also ordered their night oil. The night oil I didn't really love. I stopped using it because I feel like coconut oil does way better things for me than that oil was doing. I mean, it wasn't doing anything major. I didn't really see a big difference in my hair. So I, yeah, I stopped using that oil. But the shampoo and conditioner, you guys, it smells so, so, so good. I mean, I can't even explain the smell. The smell is super strong because it is oud based, but I'm obsessed with it. Anything that stays on my hair longer than a day or two after I wash it is amazing for me. I absolutely love that. Now the shampoo I completely ran out of, so you, I can't even show you guys the bottle, but I still have the conditioner left. Their shampoo and conditioner are sulfate free, which is something that's really important, if, especially if you have color treated hair. So that's another reason I was attracted to it. Now, if I go on their website just to see what they say about the smell, they do say it's a deep, rich, woody fragrance for both men and women. Yeah, Hussein uses it too and he absolutely loves it. It doesn't really do any moisturizing for me. I don't feel like it makes my hair soft or anything like that, like something a moisturizing shampoo would do. I literally only use this for the smell. I do feel like I have to use coconut oil to give me those moisturizing benefits because this shampoo doesn't really do that for me. It was definitely hyped on Instagram and I see why it's the smell. Nothing else, just the smell. The smell of it is amazing. So that's what I've been currently using and I really like it. The oil is a no for me, but their shampoo and conditioner is definitely a yes for me. So the next thing I wanna share with you guys is something that is currently in my shower. Now this is something you guys would probably think you don't need or never really thought of needing before. But ever since I started using this product, I don't think I can ever go back to using anything else and that is my shower head i know super weird now i've been using a filtered shower head ever since i moved to dubai something about the water here was just doing everything bad for my hair literally my hair was falling off it was dry no matter what i did nothing was working i mean i guess i was so used to new york water and then something happened when i was here the water was just bad it wasn't working for my hair I decided to look into a filtered shower head because that's what the dermatologist and everyone recommended so i ended up getting a filtered shower head from dubai mall just like a random place it wasn't i don't even remember what the brand was i definitely felt a difference in my hair it wasn't as dry and just frizzy and it wasn't falling as much as it was before ever since then i continued using a filter shower head and i would change the filter you know every month and I just felt like it was working for me and about a month and a half ago I started using this shower head by the company by the company Vita clean and you guys I never thought in my life I would be obsessing over a shower head but this shower head I don't really think I can go back to using whatever other filter shower head I was using because this one is just the ultimate upgrade filter in this shower head contains vitamin C which literally promotes healthier hair and skin. And the fact that my shower head has vitamin C in it, I mean, that's enough to blow my mind. On top of that, it has a mix of essential oils that literally give the aroma that you're in a spa. It smells so, so amazing. So like any other filter shower, you should be changing the filter every month. The filter, like I said, uh, the vitamin C filter, it does come in different. The one I currently have is citrus and I love that one, but I'm definitely going to be experimenting and trying the other scents. Because when I went back to their website, I did see that they have a rose scented one, which rose, I mean, are you kidding? My shower was going to be smelling like roses. Sign me up. Um, so they do have rose, coconut vanilla, lavender, lemon mango, and jasmine. I mean, I, I need to try every single one of those. And I love the fact that you can change the filter every month so I get a different scent every month. I've been using it for, like I said, a month and a half. And no, I just feel like every single thing that it has, I can never go back to a normal filter shower head. 
this shower head is literally changing not just my hair but my like shower experience which is everything i ever needed <laughs> the thing i want to mention is they are not expensive i feel like they're definitely affordable i mean once you've gotten the initial shower head all you need to really do is buy the filters which in my opinion are not that expensive especially if it's something that's going to be doing something amazing for your hair in the long run i feel like it's a must-have in your hair care routine just detached it from my shower to show you guys it is so lightweight and um i've been using it for a month so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the filter now you just open it like this so like I was saying, since I was using it for a month, the vitamin C cartridge goes in here and like you guys can see right here, orange before, mine was a citrusy scent, but now it's empty. So I definitely need to go ahead and purchase another one for myself. On this part right here, you have the actual filter, which of course it's been a month. Actually, they recommend replacing these in like two or three months, so I can definitely use it for another month. I do want to mention another product of the same brand that I've been currently using and I feel like I want to share. It's not hair related, but it's just so good that I want to share with you guys. And that's their Golden Shimmer Coffee Scrub. Every now and then, I will like, I would say like every once a week or twice a week, I'll scrub. Um, I'll use a scrub in the shower and the one I was using was the ritual scrub and that one is really nice so it's by the brand rituals that one is definitely a really strong scrub like it's super chunky and gritty and in general i would describe it as a strong scrub i love it now this golden shimmer coffee scrub by vitaclean this one is definitely a softer scrub but that's not why i love it first of all it smells amazing like especially if you're a coffee lover or just the smell of coffee i don't drink that much coffee but i love the smell of like fresh coffee and this one smells so amazing i can just smell it and i have my caffeine fix for the day that's how amazing it smells the reason why i absolutely am obsessed with this one is that when i'm in the shower and i'm done using it it not only exfoliates it kind of leaves this amazing bronze shimmer golden goddess glow it's literally unreal it looks like you've got like a body shimmer cream all over your body but it's just from the scrub and it lasts like a full 24 hours until you're back in the shower again it just feels like bronzy glowy all summer round just amazingness every time i use that scrub you guys the scrub is coconut oil based i mean coconut oil has been taking over this video coconut oil everything i definitely felt like i needed to share it with you guys so back to hair the other thing i want to share with you guys is a hair oil serum now a serum is something that i use after i'm done styling my hair and i've been doing this for years i feel like a serum really gives me back a little bit of that moisture that i've lost after shampooing my hair it just prevents my hair from getting frizzy the ones that i'm currently using and i feel like i've been using for like over a year now that i've absolutely been loving first one is the orbe gold lust nourishing hair oil this one is i believe 38 dollars so a bit pricey I just love it. I feel like it's so nourishing. It kind of gives me back that shine and that healthiness that I've kind of lost sometimes when I'm blow drying my hair. So I put it once I'm done blow drying or even like curling or styling my hair and it does wonders. I feel like it definitely makes my hair shinier. So the other one that I'm absolutely loving at the moment is the one that I got from my local pharmacy. So I feel like you guys can really pick this up anywhere, drugstore, pharmacy is, but that's the Nukes. I hope I'm saying their brand name right too, but it's the Nukes Paris uh, oil. Now this oil is meant for, they say, hair, body, and the face. I tried using it on the face. I didn't love it. I feel like I was making my skin a bit oily. I've been using it on my body and my hair, and I love what it's doing for my hair and body. It's super moisturizing. It kind of comes in like a spray form, but I'll just spray some in my hands and run it through my hair. And yeah, I just love the smell. I feel like it's super moisturizing, and even on my body, I feel like it really makes it glisten and hydrates it. So definitely love this one too. I've heard that some people will use this before the shower well they'll put a lot on and kind of drench their whole head and i haven't done that yet i've personally been using it after styling my hair so i'll definitely have to try that and let you guys know how i like it for like a pre-shower kind of thing all right so the last thing hair perfumes now the current this one i actually just finished this one was the miss dior uh, hair perfume and then this one is also a dior one but it's their J'adore collection. And this one, it smells so, so good. You guys, it smells so good. Really now considering changing this video to how to make your hair smell great. 
but these two are the ones that I loved but I just ordered I think like three more hair perfumes but I'm not going to talk about them because I want to see if I like them and I'm going to compare them to these two because these are like my holy grails so I won't talk about them in this video but um, I have ordered three other hair perfumes and I'll let you guys know what I think about them in general but um, I wanted to let you guys know how I kind of use hair perfumes so I like to do hair serum first and then go in with the hair perfume I feel like the oil that you put on before really makes the perfume scent lock in so I'll put the oil on before and then I'll top it off with the hair perfume and then my hair is it's just i mean combined with the shampoo conditioner the hair serum and the hair perfume you can only imagine what my hair smells like <laughs> i will link these and every single thing that i talked about in this video in the description below all right you guys so this concludes the end of the video i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i tried to keep it like short and sweet i hope i didn't talk too much but I really wanted to let you guys know current things that I've been using and loving to answer some of the DMs, the messages that I get from you guys regarding hair. Yeah, stay tuned for my next video. Like I said, it's super exciting giving away every single thing in that video. So happy to be back. I'm so glad I'm sitting here and filming and I can't wait to make more videos. Thank you guys so much for all your support, all your love, all your sweet comments. I love you guys so much. Until next time.